And because of our timing, we were able to put ourselves in front of that person. It saved that person's life. So marketing is not just something that has to do with money. Marketing has to do with life. It has to do with impact and influence and your ability to go and make somebody's life better. My father was not considered a marketer. The reason why I believe him to be one of the greatest marketers ever, one of the most smartest marketers ever that I got a chance to work with is because he was very passionate about helping and impacting people. And he understood this, that marketing was the path for him to impact other people. Without marketing, he couldn't get in front of people. So if you are like my father, that you had this passion for helping people get better and your products and or services happen to be a gateway for them to do better, then you must dominate the marketing subject. Marketing is that path that guides you from people not knowing who you are to people understanding how your products and services can benefit them. And I'll tell you a quick little story, very quickly, just to emphasize on this point. I have marketed a lot of businesses over my career. It's been somewhere around maybe 14 years since the first time that I ever marketed a business. And I have marketed nonprofit companies, churches. I have marketed businesses that sell products or businesses that sell services. I have marketed software as a service. You name it. The name of the game has always been attention. If a business gets attention, they can win, they can expand. If they don't get attention, they eventually perish. And 99% of the businesses that get born today are not gonna be around a decade from today. It's the truth. It is data science. Not too long ago, I was actually marketing for a nonprofit organization that really helps individuals overcome depression, problems that they have personally, and so on. And they do this without drugs, without having to give people medicine, without having to insert chemicals in their bodies, in their minds. I was really enjoying the subject of marketing for this particular organization. And it made me realize something. Every single day, there are people out there right now, because there's billions of them, hundreds of millions just in the United States of America. It's a lot of human beings out there that are looking to solve certain problems. So when you look at a subject like, for example, depression, or something very delicate as an individual's self-esteem or their personal development or their own abilities, I take it very personal because we have this ability to change that person's path by giving them correct information, correct products, correct services. It's a really cool power, right? With great power comes great responsibility. So I was marketing for this organization and this organization was doing free workshops. This is somewhere in 2017. And they were doing a free workshop to promote the subject of how to control your mind better. There was a person that showed up to the seminar and it was a free workshop. And that person ended up changing their lives for good. This person told the organization a story and her story was as follows. She was outside on her balcony and she felt a message from God, from something supreme. And she decided to pull out her phone and she opened up her phone and she saw this organization, which is a nonprofit organization, promoting a free seminar to help you understand more your mind and how to tackle your mental problems without having to use drugs. And she felt at that moment that that was a message from God and she had to snap out of it and give herself another chance. She turned that phone off, she showed up the next day and her life got changed and she never went back to it. And still today, she's a very happy person living a life worth living. The moral of the story is that there's people like that today every single day across every aspect of life and every country around this planet. And all they need is correct help, correct information, correct products, correct services to handle their problems. In this particular example, she was a young girl that was in need of some assistance with her mental condition. And she didn't know what to do, but she opened up her Facebook one more time and she saw that message, which she felt it was a message from God. 
in actuality, in that particular moment, it was a message that we sent because we pressed the button and we decided to give our money from this organization to promote that particular seminar, which we knew was going to help the life of somebody else. And because of our timing, we were able to put ourselves in front of that person. And that person was able to keep on living. It saved that person's life. That person is probably gonna go on to have a family and have children because of what happened in that moment. So marketing is not just something that has to do with money. Marketing has to do with life. It has to do with impact and influence and your ability to go and make somebody's life better. And I mean that with the most sincere and open, hard communication that I could ever give you. So take that with the power that it comes and use your products and services and market them to make the world a better place. And by doing so, you'll be able to create big changes.